Hey, what's up? I'm Amir. I'm with Adolescent Content, and I'm back with another episode of Native NYC. And today, meeting in Midtown Manhattan. What's good? I'm really real. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a music artist. We eat the breakfast, tons of different things, but mainly a music artist. And what are we eating today? Today, we eating, we eating some stuff, some takeout from TikTok Diner, one of my favorite diners in the city. I'm going to be putting Amir on. Yes, she did. And we're going to be talking about my project. The passion, the haters, the haters, the future, the future, manifesting, God, and more. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you have like a memory, like when you were little, like that when you first knew, like, oh, I'm an artist? It was when I was in the studio recording my first project. Not my first project, my fab. The first song that I ever recorded in the studio. It's this song called. Um, Wonderland dream, but I never dropped it. We had killed it in like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We had killed the whole song. And then we just spent the other like hour and a half of the session listening to it. And I was just like, what the f Like, that's me. I can't believe I did that. And I think when I left the session that day, I genuinely like had tears in my eyes. Cause I was like, yo, like I did it. And I sounded good. And I had that feeling where it's like that euphoric feeling. Like I sounded like an artist. I wrote the song. I felt felt good about myself. I was like, I could really see myself continuing this. Do you have any goals for the future for your career? Mhm. Mm One of my biggest goals is I want to have a record label. Your own record label. Yeah. I want to have a record label. I have an artist collective right now called Jam Food. So. Jam mhm. Mm yeah. J A M F O O. Yeah. Let's talk about that. What's Jam Food? Yeah. So Jam Food basically created the word based off of like a scottish word for it's like j-a-m-p-h-l-e so it's like jam full and it's so it's basically to walk awkwardly because you wear shoes too big for your feet so we was like if we from new york we're not gonna say jam full like that's yeah, ugly like yeah, we would yeah. say jam foo. so it's like jam foo. like so it's basically the same meaning of the word like we basically are just like different people artists djs hosts like producers engineers that we all like basically like we wear shoes too big for our feet, but we rock it. That's our walk. Like, we all went through different shit. We're from different places of the world. Like, got some of us that's not even from New York, from Africa, from born immigrants and stuff like that. So, we basically just, like, own who we are. And super, super talented people are in the collective. So, it's like, that was kind of, like, my start to seeing, like, yo, I really actually want to have a record label. The way that, like, I brought all these homies together and like I'm able to see and hear things and like be able to see who can work with who and, and stuff. It's like it's giving agency, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving executive. Like <laughs> I could really see that um, flourishing in the future and also having my own festival, music festival. So you want a record label and you want a festival? Yes, like an okay. annual festival. Mm -hmm. what would, would, yeah, would they I do underground same? festivals all the time. Like in the, like I do a couple a year, like I like put together like shows and stuff with different artists come through. One of the biggest events that I've done is um, our Juneteenth event that we do. And this year we had like 1,500 people come through. And the lineup oh, is strict damn. as DJs and music artists. Where, where was black, it? Black DJs, black music artists. It was in, um, what's it, The Meadows. Okay. Yeah, and the line was like around the block because the, the venue only fits like 500 people. God. We wasn't even expecting that turnout, but I'm like, I'm gonna keep this up, you know. I wanna, I wanna have my annual festival every year and just bring people through. And I just see how people work. I just like, you know, I enroll people well. That's all it is. Like, I just, I'm, I'm a very big observer, and I see like this person that I know if I put them on a stage where there's like a thousand people there, five hundred people there, they're gonna turn this shit out, and they just haven't had that opportunity yet. And then there's people that are already put on that they already know how to bring people through. And they may be signed to a record label and they, they're just my homie and want to be involved because they know how the turnouts be. And then you put that and that together, someone finds a new artist, someone might not know about that artist. So I have a really big passion for like events, but in a different way, like like create a new, a new way and a new attack on corporation. Like we can make it completely different than it's been.